In this video, I will show you a method you can use to easily clone your custom project and apply it to other markets. But before we begin, please pay attention to this short notice. The information contained in this video is for educational purposes only. Now, let's take a look at how we can clone our custom project. In previous videos, I showed you a custom project prepared for GBPJPY. I also added tasks for retest on additional markets, specifically for CADJPY and AUDJPY. At the same time, I added a retest method, where in the final task, I test strategies on all available markets with JPY. This gives us an overview that we can use to further evaluate the strategies. We can see that our custom project worked and that most strategies are profitable in multiple markets simultaneously. Today, I will show you how you can easily adapt this custom workflow to other markets. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to clone this custom project for EuroJPY and USDJPY. I click on settings and then on clone custom project. The custom project has now been cloned and now I rename it to EuroJPY. Breakout Ducas copy and click on save. The task has been renamed and now let's edit the symbols. Again, I click on settings and then on modify, which opens this pop-up. Here's a brief explanation and you can see a guide here showing how to use this replacement feature. I can change symbols in bulk here and I can also edit flight time frame separately. This means that if I have used the H1 time frame somewhere, for example, I can set it to a higher or lower value and control everything in bulk. This is set using an asterisk and a slash. If you want to change both the symbol and the time frame, you mark it in this format. If you only want to change the symbol, you set an asterisk after the slash. I now replace all GBPJPY symbols with Euro JPY symbols. This replaces the symbols used for building and supplementing the main retest task. With this option, you apply the default symbol settings directly to the retester. I definitely do recommend clicking this option every time, otherwise you will be left with the spread and commission values from the original symbol. This option applies the settings from the data manager. I click save. The change has been made and now let's see how the symbols have been replaced. You can see that the data settings have remained the same, only the values have been replaced. If you look at the next retest task, we have EuroJPY symbol here. Therefore, when we change the symbol, it may sometimes happen that the symbol does not have the same data range. In such a case, the data will automatically be set from the earliest available. Now, in this one retest task, I just change the symbol to GBPJPY. This means that everything is ready and the rest of the task remain the same. Now, I do have a custom project ready for another currency pair. If we quickly check this, you can see that in the other retest task, we only have EuroJPY set up, which is what we want to build. Only in the last task, we change the symbol back to JBP, JPY. This completes the list of symbols, and that's it. Basically, with just a few clicks, we have our task ready for other markets. Now, let's show the same method for USD JPY. Again, I click on Clone Custom Project. This time, I copy it from original project of ours. I click on Rename, and let's name it USD. JPY. We can see that we have Euro JPY everywhere here, so I click on Modify and change all symbols to USD JPY. At the same time, I click on Apply and set the replacement of Euro JPY to USD JPY. Then I click Save. I click on our custom project and you can see that USDJPY has been correctly assigned here. USDJPY is set correctly and here I select the correct symbol. If we change the symbols in this way, we must then rename the individual task accordingly, otherwise it would not match. 
So here I change GBPJPY and rename USDJPY to EuroJPY. Here I just rename it so that everything matches and click save. Everything else remains the same here and only in the last task I set a different market so that it matches our additional test in the cross checks. Now check it again and see that everything is okay. Let's go through it again. GBPJPY, okay here, uh, EuroJPY, H1, CAD, JPY. This way, you can easily copy custom projects and prepare a custom project for each market. This makes it very easy to build strategies for other markets as well. It is also important to mention that if you change the symbols for completely different instruments within a custom project, it is always, always necessary to adapt the stop loss and take profit to the given market. We cannot build strategies with the same ranges for GBP, JPY and for, for example, oil or gold. Each market is very specific and these values need to be adjusted accordingly. Please keep that in mind. For JPY pairs, it is generally very similar, but GBP, JPY is still a little more volatile. My recommendation is that we can slightly reduce the stop loss values for Euro JPY and USD JPY. And that's all for this video. If you like it, let me know in the comments if you use this feature. I believe it is very, very useful. And if you would have any problems or need advice, please write to our support email. I will share the custom projects we just created today in the description of this video. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe and see you in the next one.